You can find the extrusion tool on both the solid and the surface ribbon tab. In either case, it will launch the extrude command, but depending which ribbon tab you launch from, it will either have the extrude command in surface or in solid mode. For example, if I select extrude from the solid ribbon tab, Notice here on the command line that it automatically launches extrude and puts the command in the solid mode. You can change that, so even if I launched it from the solid ribbon tab, I could right click and choose mode to change it to the surface mode. Then it would be as if I had launched it right from the surface ribbon tab. Now extrusions have different options that you can use. The most common and the default is to simply select a profile and then extrude it perpendicular to that profile. So for example here I'll just extrude, pick a point down for the height of that extrusion. You could also um, extrude and provide a taper angle. Now ev you can either provide the taper angle while you're extruding, you'll see there's a taper angle option, or if you just create a simple extrusion you'll see that after you've created it there's a grip on the extrusion and you can use that to modify the taper angle. So you can either create the taper as you're creating it or after you've created the surface. I'm going to go ahead and erase this surface and try some of the other extrude options. Another thing that you can do when you launch extrude is to specify a direction so that rather than it automatically extruding perpendicular to the profile you could use the direction option and maybe I want the direction to go from the center of this circle up here and I'll just pick some some point over on another profile just so you get the idea that it's going at an angle. I specified the direction even though the initial profile is the same the direction of that extrude is different. And then one last option I'll show you is the path option. So if you want the extrusion to follow a specific path you can use the path option. In this case I'll go ahead and select this curvy spline path and when I do that notice that that extrusion follows. It keeps the same profile all the way down but it follows that path. So just different options that you can use with extrude. Even after you've created the extruded surfaces you can look at the properties and modify various properties. For example you can change the height either in the properties window or you'll see grips on the surface that you can simply grab and stretch to change the height. And then of course the taper angle and various other options that are specifically related to an extruded type of surface.